Local Long Island Fish. Fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. Cornell Cooperative Extension Marine Program started this project back in 2016 to promote locally caught seafood and to educate Suffolk County residents on the importance of purchasing locally caught seafood. CCE Marine Program staff works closely with fishermen to help them enhance their businesses. There are many methods of fishing on Long Island and one such method that has been around since well before colonial times is pound trap fishing. It's arguably the oldest fishery um, that we know in this country. Uh, when the, Before the colonists got here, uh, the Native Americans had crude traps out of uh, uh, branches and you know whatever wicker or whatever they could construct. So they were the first trap fishermen, uh, probably the Shinnecocks or Montaukets. Or, but uh, definitely uh, the Native Americans started it. And um, it's been something that has been fished in one capacity or another since this time of the settlers. Pound trap fishing fits right in with CCE's philosophy of fish. Fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. From trap to table. We want people to eat what we caught that day. Um, same thing with the organic farming. You know, it's all organic. I mean, you can't get any better than the fish that have come out of the pound trap. Um, you know, when we're cutting them, they're kicking. Um, you know, I've had people ask me when we're packing fish, well, geez, I think still alive, and you're putting ice on it. Yeah, well, it was just caught. Um, it's been 15 minutes out of the water and we're packing it up nice and fresh. That's what we want people to understand. That's what we want the public to want. Um, just like the corn. I mean, you, the farmer goes and picks the corn that morning and you're having it for dinner. Well, we want the people to eat the fish that we're catching that morning. It's, it's a hands-on fishery. I've never brought someone that's never been to a pound trap that didn't enjoy themselves and, you know, see where their food is coming from and how you handled it. And, you know, I think it's... Uh, you know, I think it's a great way to fish. There's a long fence-like part of the trap that's called the leader, that's between 300 to 500 feet long, depending upon the site. And uh, the fish, which move mostly at night because the bait is close to the beach at night and then the, the bigger fish come in after the bait, they encounter this leader and they instinctively swim for offshore for deeper water. And that leader leads to an inner pound, which is sort of a maze like structure um, that's uh, like a secondary part of the trap. And then there's a funnel that leads into the box where we actually retrieve the fish. So what kind of fish are you seeing out there? What, uh, what, what's a normal day? Well, is there a normal day? Um, every day's different. I mean, that's part of the intrigue of it. Um, I mean, it's, uh, every day's like the first day you ever went. That's, you know, I, I love my job. It's interesting and you, it's, you never know what you're gonna encounter. But normally uh, I catch fluke, porgies, Butterfish, bunkers, bluefish, weak fish, dogfish. That's like the standard fare. But I have caught, uh, I think I'm up to 78 different species of fish in my traps over the years. So like the fish markets um, that I deal with are thrilled to get tra trap caught fish. They're always the best quality. Um, you know, ice the fish right away after they're caught. And uh, the, uh, they're primo, they're the best. You know, they're not, uh, they're not marked up. I mean, they're, they're, they're live and put right into, you know, ice brine, and, uh, you know, they're perfect fish. So particularly the fluke are highly sought after. Um, Does the average customer know that? that, that no, I don't brine? believe they do. Okay. I don't think they do. They just sort of generically think that the fish came from the ocean, you know, or the sea. I don't think they know, you know, the steps. I think if people knew the steps in the process, uh, I think they'd be intrigued and uh, really appreciative. You know, this Mrs. Paul's fish sticks in a in King Cullen is not it's not us.